Hey guys, welcome to my ring crafting guide. In this video, I'll show you everything there is to know about ring crafting. First of all, the main purpose of ring crafting, as the name might suggest, is to create rings. There is no other way to get rings in game unless you buy or craft them yourself. In the process of mastering ring crafting, you will be rewarded with 375 mastery experience or 3.75 mastery levels. To start, go to a novice crafting bench and make yourself a ring crafting bench. You'll notice it requires shapestone ore besides flux, flux being the in-game currency. Shapestone is one of the most commonly found ores in Shove. You can mine it at the surface, like so, or find a cave that's stuffed with a shapestone, and I think I got one right here. Plenty of shapestone to be mined. But the method I recommend the most is finding yourself a Dragonfire Pix biome, like the one I'm in right now. As they have these massive cave systems, which are stuffed with shapestone, so you won't lose that much time going from vein to vein. Expect on getting around 3.5k shapestone per hour if you're using your uh, mining laser, and around 5.5k uh, shapestone per hour if you're bomb mining. Now that you know how to get shapestone, let's get to ring crafting. This is how the ring crafting bench looks like. When you first start the activity, your skill level will be 0. The maximum skill level you can reach is 250, as shown here. For each box that you craft, you get one skill level, it doesn't matter what tab they're in. There will always be 4 different ring boxes you can choose from. Let's quickly go over them. First one, Vitality Stone Box. Contains a ring that grants health and an additional random stat. We'll go over that additional random stat in a moment. The second one grants a physical damage ring, the third one grants a magic damage ring, and the fourth one grants a lasermancy ring. Lasermancy is the stat that dictates your mining speed. The higher the lasermancy, the faster you'll be mining. Let's say we want a health ring. We press craft, we make sure the item is in our hotbar, press R, and this is how you get your ring out of the ring box, then uh, place it in your inventory. Let's check it out. So we got maximum health and we got critical hit as the second stat, so this is what they were talking about. You get a second random stat that cannot be controlled, nor it can be modified, unlike uh, the other item. Now, you can see here the last craftable item are diamonds. You will also need to craft a bunch of diamonds, as the second tab requires diamonds instead of flux. Besides crafting, you also got a chance at getting diamonds by opening miner's troves. Those are small chests you get during mining. And of course, you can get pretty much every single resource you need by using the marketplace. To get access to the second tab, the dabbler, you will need a skill level of 50. As I have 250, I already have it unlocked. Once you get to 50, you'll be rewarded 75 mastery experience. Every single mastery level needs 100 mastery experience. 3 to 4 or 200 to 201 both need 100 mastery experience. As you'll find yourself opening many ring boxes, keep in mind that magic find does not affect the uh, rarity of the ring. Also, the boxes you are opening do not count towards your boxes opened badge. To quickly get rid of all the junk rings you're getting, just place them in your loot collector. You gotta keep in mind if you unlock master ring crafter and you're going for lord of the rings, if you were to craft a ring from jewel or tab, you won't be getting any skill levels. Once you get to the final tab, boxes here will require shallow diamonds instead of regular diamonds. And you'll now need a new resource, Eyes of Kubuthulu. On screen right now is the rarity ladder in game. You get Eyes of Kubuthulu if you decompose anything relic and above. But unfortunately you don't get any eyes by decomposing the relic rings you just made on the previous tab. Though you see Radiant as being the highest tier an item can reach, rings don't climb to Radiant. Instead, the highest tier ring you can get is a Shadow Level 4. You'll need quite a big amount of luck to get one from these rainbow boxes, so good luck. That's pretty much it guys. Hope you found this video useful and I also hope I didn't miss anything important. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video.